Hey guys, Jenny here, and I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this look. It's super easy, um, copper eyes with nice bold lips. So keep on watching and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Isa Makeup. So first I'm going to start off by prepping my skin with this amazing facial moisturizer from N3Y Skin Care and they were nice enough to send me um, their products and I am so in love with them so make sure to check them out and this is the Nano White Cream EX and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Next I'm prepping uh, my eyes so I'm adding a little bit of eye primer all over my lid. Next I'm going in with a crease brush and I'm applying a light brown color on my crease. Then after that, I'm going to apply a dark brown and I'm only going uh, halfway into my crease. Then I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going to add a copper color on my lid. Now I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eyes. And this is going to add a little bit of dimension to the eye. Then I'm going to take um, the same crease brush that I used to apply my dark brown and I'm going to take that where I, where I applied the black color and I'm just going to diffuse that and blend that all those colors together. Next I'm going to apply my eyeliner and I'm using a liquid liner just to make sure that I get the nice sharp edge. Now I'm going to be concealing my under eye circles and I'm using a cream concealer and I'm first applying it with uh, my brush and then I'm going to go in with a sponge that's damped and I'm going to blend um, the concealer out and up. So now I'm going to contour my cheekbones and my nose. So I'm going to take a brown contour color and I'm going to contour those areas. And I'm also going to uh, highlight the bridge of my nose since I want to make my nose appear uh, slim. And now I'm going to blend my contour color that I used to um, contour my nose. And I like using my fingers 
because I like to make sure that the color doesn't move around too much or that I don't extend it out um, and just make sure that it stays you know in place and I'm also going to take a sponge and I'm going to blend out the contour on my cheeks and um, a little bit of um, that highlight as well that I added on the bridge of my nose. So now for the fun part, um, I'm going to be using my airbrush system and I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm going to be using my favorite brand which is Dynair and I'm going to be concealing all my imperfection and make my skin look flawless. For this step, um, if you don't have the airbrush system, definitely use um, your foundation that you have at home. So now I'm taking a loose powder and I'm just going to set underneath my eye area and definitely recommend this if you are using a liquid or a cream because we have to set our foundation especially underneath that eye area. So now I'm going to take a um, dark brown contour color and I'm going to add that color on the areas that um, I contoured with my cream like my cheekbones. I'm also going to add a little bit on the temples and on my forehead and also um, I'm going to contour my nose as well. Now I'm going to take a powder brush and I'm going to dust off the excess powder that I left underneath my eye area and I'm going to sweep that all over my face so I can blend the contour uh, powder that I just applied because I want to make sure that everything looks blended and like it belongs on the face so make sure that um, you always blend out your contour because you don't want any harsh lines. Next, I'm applying just a little bit of blush and I'm staying with like the warm uh, pink families. Want to make sure that everything looks natural. Then I'm going to take a, a brown eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that underneath my um, lash line. And I'm going to take a clean brush, that's why I flipped the brush because the other end is clean and I'm going to diffuse that color just so it looks smoky and blended. And let's not forget about the highlight. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of a highlight with um, a fan brush and I'm going to use that same highlight on the bridge of my nose.
Now it's time for lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply a little bit of mascara. And I'm applying mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So now I'm going to pop my eyelashes on and I'm using a full strip. Um, and the trick with applying your eyelashes is making sure that the adhesive is tacky so you can just pop them in super fast and um, it doesn't move around. So the key is make sure that the glue is, is tacky before um, popping them in. So now that my eyelashes are in place, I'm going to take a um, extension eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes just because these um, were old lashes and I had already cleaned them and sanitized them and they lost their, their shape. So I'm just making sure that they look nice and curled and they stick to my natural lashes. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara just to make sure that my natural lashes does stick to the, the falsies and um, yeah, makes them just look good. So we're almost done and the final step is to apply my um, lipstick. So I'm first going to take a liner and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick and I'll make sure to um, include all the products that I used in this video down on the description box. So make sure to um, take a look there if you want to see what I used. So this is the final look guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Isa Makeup and my other social media accounts. Um, and if you love to shop, make sure to stop by our storefront located in Chino, California and do a little bit of shopping like this necklace right here. And if you love it, make sure to click the link. We are having a 30% off sale for a limited time. So make sure to click the link and see all the goodies we have in stock. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Bye.